you guys Aaron here talking about card mobile season five the penalty blog post giving us full details on the upcoming season we have details on the lucky draws the battle pass and new content so let's get right into it here season five is called get wrecked and it launches may 31st at 5 p.m pt for the battle pass and the free tiers the two main things are at tier 21 we're getting a new functional weapon the ffar1 assault rifle from black ops cold war it says it features one of the highest fire rates in the class which probably means it has a lot of recoil, I would assume, but I mean, we'll wait and see though. But Desse has one of the highest fire rates, which means it could be a pretty strong weapon. And at tier 14, we're getting a new score streak called the Guardian. It says it's a placeable device that emits radiation in a cone. This slows enemy movement, distorts their vision, and causes constant low level damage. Kind of like basically the Transform Shield, which I mean, it's basically the same thing. I imagine it would be stronger though because it is a score streak, but I mean, we'll have to wait and see. Now for the premium battle pass, we don't have actual images of what the skins look like other than some of the promo images here. But we do know which skins are coming. So for the epic characters, we're getting Rampage Showdown, Synaptic Neutralizer, Sims Regulator, and Rose Smoky Skies. And then for the epic weapons, we're getting the AK-117 Corporate Issue, the ZRG Holy Roman, FFAR-1 Burnt Ascender, Shorty Patched, and the Switchblade X9 Treachery. So the new functional weapon does return at tier 50 for an epic skin, which for some reason season four, they just didn't do that. And they really gave us no explanation as to why, but don't worry, no functional weapon. We'll be getting epic skin in the battle pass this time around. Now getting into some of the new content here, new multiplayer map, Armada Strike from Black Ops Cold War is coming to Con Mobile. It says it's gonna feature rappel lines for access between different levels of the ship, as well as you can be able to swim to flank around the ship as well too, which is kind of cool. Also gonna be getting a new multiplayer mode, search and rescue. Basically just like search and destroy so we can revive your teammates, which is kind of cool too. I'm not super crazy about this mode, but I mean, I think it was like a kind of a well-received mode when it originally came out. We're also going to be getting the trophy system out to Battle Royale too, which I mean, I'm not much of a Battle Royale player. I'm not sure if people were really asking for this or not, but I do think it's a good thing to have in Battle Royale. It's been in Warzone, so I don't know why it's not in COD Mobile Battle Royale, but trophy system coming to COD Mobile as well, Battle Royale that is. We're also going to be getting a new signature attachment in a seasonal challenge for the RUS 79U, the tactical flashlight. It says to reveal enemy operators from a greater distance in all lighting conditions. This is a great attachment for quickly acquiring enemy targets at long range in all environments. This seems pretty useless based on like what it says in the blog post. Like I don't, I mean, I don't even know what the point of this attachment is, how good it's going to be. I mean, I'm hoping in game and like when we're actually able to use it, it's better than what it sounds like here in the blog post, but. Yeah, this feels like another like useless attachment that no one's really gonna use. But I mean, we'll have to wait and see how it is in game. It says they're also making improvements to the tournament mode in the upcoming update. So starting in season five, the weekend tournament mode will allow players to compete in both the weekly rotating multiplayer mode and battle royale, beginning with Alcatraz. It says there's also gonna be some improved crates as well too. It says tournament crate contents will see an upgrade as well, with players being able to use their one CP coupons on the first pull of Mythic card crates. I don't know what I mean by 1 CP coupons, like, because we have 1 CP coupons for Lucky Boxes as well as Lucky Draws, but then we have Crate Coupons, which are, they aren't 1 CP, it's like a free crate basically, so I don't know what it means by that. I mean, we'll have to wait and see when the update comes out though. They also talk about Melee Camos as well too. It says, get up close and personal with new tournament mode Melee Camos. After unlocking enough primary weapon tournament camos, the Melee Camos will be available to earn so you can battle in style even when fighting toe to toe. So it sounds like they're changing how the melee camels work now for the tournament mode. Which before it was just like one crate with all the melee camels in it, I think that's what it was. And now they're saying that once you unlock enough tournament mode camels for enough primary weapons, then you can actually unlock the melee camels as well too. Which, not really sure how it's, how it's going to work, not enough details are given, but I mean we'll wait and see. Now onto the lucky draws, we're getting a new mythic weapon. It says the contracting out of skills as a bodyguard in spite of the highest bidder, QG Faded Shadow, fights with the best weapons money can buy, including the high tech fire based FFAR1 Bright Blade, a mythic ready weapon blueprint also included in the draw that's based on the new season 5 assault rifle. So, the new functional weapon, the FFAR1, is getting a mythic blueprint and it's, and it's going to come with QG Faded Shadow. Now, for the other lucky draws, for the characters that will be available in these lucky draws, we're going to be getting Alias Signal Jammer and David Mason and Bandit. And then for your legendary weapons, the KSP 45 is getting a legendary called Jolted Radio. RUS 79U legendary called Custom Job. The Clean House Draw is also going to return, which features legendary price, 
along with the legendary J J J358. The battle pass vault, the in deep waters battle pass from season five, 2021 is coming back, which obviously makes sense because the, the season five currently has like a kind of aquatic theme, so they're bringing back the previous aquatic themed draw in the battle pass vault. But that is all the information we have so far on season five. Again, I gotta mention this: no mention of zombies in the blog post, which is looking like another season of no new zombies content, which I'm not super surprised about, but. I'm at least hoping we can update in like a community update or something when season five actually starts about the future of the mode and what's going on. Is new content coming? Are they just gonna re remove the mode again? We'll see. And of course, as soon as we get more information, I'll let you guys know. But that is it for season five. Get wrecked again. Starts May thirty first at five p.m. PT. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think so far. The battle pass, new content, lucky draws. What are you guys most excited for? Thanks for watching. Peace.